Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build. My vehicle today is the Ford Mustang King Cobra. Quite a few people wanted to see me have a go with this car and I'm kind of interested to see how this thing can turn out. Certainly from standard it's nowhere near the most exciting of Mustangs. However there is plenty of room for upgrades. It actually starts off as very light as well. Uh, we could potentially see it go quite quickly. I don't know. Uh, with uh, with this car. Certainly got plenty of room for the uh, for the upgrades. Uh, also, I have just realised the American cars are very near me for the first time going to fall out of the top ten of this uh, series, if you like. So I figured we'll see if this can... Uh, I think the Dodge... The Dodge Charger Daytona is in tenth. So we're going to see if this uh, Mustang can, can rectify that. Anyway, we shall uh, get on with the build. Now, the rules for this series. The vehicles must be made four-wheel drive, which is going to make this... Uh, change the PI by one. going to make us a little bit heavier, but it's still only £2,800. So it's still pretty good pretty good weights to be working with to, uh, to start with. We must have the Storm Island off-road tyres, uh, which is going to jump the PI up into C-Class, but still, again, plenty of room for messing around with parts, the off-road gearbox for some nice sensible gear ratios for the course that we're going to tackle, and the off-road suspension to survive the bumps and the jumps and the general demands of the course. I think we should have no problems with the Mustang. I think we may even have problems with it being too high. Even from standard, it's, it's kind of quite ridiculously high. Even, I think the race the race suspension on this car is probably still higher than the, than the ride height of the rally suspension on the Mercedes, but rules state we have to use this so that's what we are going for we should definitely survive the bumps here my concern is actually we may be a little bit on the, the too higher side the rest of the parts of course to make it up to s1 are completely up to me uh, handling is a bit of a concern so we're going through with all of these straight away uh i'm thinking we are probably going to want a roll cage in this i suspect this doesn't quite have the greatest chassis ever made so <laughs> we will go with that i mean it's still under three thousand pounds and now we'll go for a race weight reduction which will drop it down to two thousand five hundred pretty good Pretty good, pretty good weight uh, for the car. Now the next big choice, well tyres, we're going to have to go for these of course. Uh, oh, it looks like we can get some pretty big ones. 325s on the rear, look quite, <laughs> from 195s to 325s. Um, yep, that'll do quite nicely. Not quite the 345s that we've seen on some muscle cars, but still pretty damn sizeable. Uh, and especially considering this is quite a light car. Uh, for, for, a, for a classic muscle car, or kind of classic muscle car. It's not really, really count as a muscle car to begin with, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> but the sort of vehicles that we compare it to, yes, quite light. Uh, front tyres, 275s, they're about normal for these sort of uh, sort of vehicles. Okay, decent sized tyres. Now, what I was going to say is the big question is engines. We don't really want the standard engine particularly. The, uh, the only other choice is a 6.2 litre V8 that, uh, oh, bugger, I was hoping we could have a little bit more in the way of options, but uh, I don't think the standard engine, I don't think we could probably get the standard engine to powerful enough even if we wanted to, in all honesty. Uh, we, I think we're going to have to go for the 6.2. Uh, 450 horsepower, 460 torque. Uh, it does add a little bit of weight, but it's not very much. Yeah, we're going to have to go with the other 6.2. Now that puts us up to, well, towards the top of S1 class. Uh, but at least we can fit the engine in. We will go for the uh, aero parts. Does this come with a... Oh, it does come with kind of like a like a tail thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't quite know the best way of calling that is. Or like, almost like a ducktail spoiler kind of going on at the back. Um, but we'll go with uh, the Forza Aero, of course. Uh, we're going to need all the handling help we can get, I suspect. We'll give it a beard as well. Oh... <laughs> on the front and do we want the oh, do we want the bonnets uh, they do they do take off some weight we might come back to them if uh, we're looking for an extra pi here and there okay uh, we've got probably a room for a couple of engine parts potentially I'm wondering if we can get uh, we might be able to get it up to 500 horsepower almost yeah, I mean that's not too bad certainly uh, for a car this light 500 horsepower isn't uh, isn't terrible okay it's not quite the same perhaps power to weight ratio that we saw from the Ferrari but you know <laughs> the Ferrari was mighty mighty fast and uh, yeah I I don't know I, I don't think we're quite gonna have as quick a car as the GTO but for 493 horsepower in a car that weighs 2400 pounds oh, just just over 2400 really it's not terrible it's, it's not terrible we've got some decent tires uh, we could be quite quick 
from from this. My, my big concern, really, with this is how on earth is it going to handle? Is it going to be decent enough to drive or not? Is the suspension too high? Are we going to wallow and bounce around a little bit too much? Uh, I don't think we're going to get... I'll have a look if we can get a flywheel in, but I very highly doubt it. Uh, no, we can't. And I suspect we won't get the bonnet on either. Because uh, that's £5. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not going to get any of them bits on. So the, the finished car comes to just under 500 horsepower, just under 500 torque, and just under 2,500 pounds. It's, I'm not quite sure what to expect from this. If it handles well, it could be pretty quick. We could definitely see it up in the, up in the top 10. Uh, I don't think we'll be challenging the top cars, but uh, it's all going to come down to how well this car handles. If it's, if it's going to, uh, to corner how, how I would like, and I fear we may be a little bit wallowy on the, uh, on the suspension. But there is only one way to find out, and that is to, whoops, not to go there, to go to the Forest Brawl Circuit, uh, <laughs> where I will have five laps to go as quickly as possible. Our current leader, the Ferrari GTO, sits at the top with a 57.5 second lap time, which I doubt we will be challenging today. Uh, getting under the 59 seconds is probably going to be the challenge for, for the Mustang. I think we're going to be looking maybe the Dodge Charger Daytona, as I said, sits in 10th, 59-0. We could perhaps see that getting up there. Maybe, yeah, maybe compete with the Metro. Uh, <laughs> the Metro was qu crazy twitchy. Maybe we could compete with that if this thing is is sort of stable and uh, has some decent grip. I just don't know. By the looks of it, we may have to uh, fix gear ratios. We will have to fix gear ratios, I suspect. Uh, this sometimes happens with... Um, with the slower cars, when you stick in the, the rally gearbox after you've built them up with quite a lot of power, it kind of messes up the gears and makes them stupid short, like far too short to be usable. On this on this track, I mean, we, we're, we're, we're topping out at about 140-ish miles an hour, and with the gearing we had on here, it, it would literally it would be buzzing on the limiter. So we will, to be fair to the cars, actually give it a, a hope in hell of, uh, of doing this. That seems like a sensible gear ratio to me. Uh, 163. You know, that's that's about what we will see most of the cars with the the Storm Island gearbox doing. It's just uh, with, this, with the the lower lower PI cars to begin with. It sometimes messes it up. And um, right, never mind. We'll we'll try it. We'll try take two. Uh, yeah, with that shorter gear ratio, it's almost it's almost useless. Um, Right, we didn't even get to take a quarter, so I'm still slightly concerned that we may not have... Uh, I, I, it's not that we won't have the grip, I think we'll have the traction, I think we've got good enough tyres. It's that we will wallow through the corners and it'll be quite difficult to get it through via the high-speed sections. So, okay, Mustang, try not to... Uh, Try doesn't let us down too much. Yeah, it does feel like you're sitting rather high in this car. How do we... Turn one! That's actually pretty good. I was expecting a lot more lean through the turns. It is pretty good through here, actually. Um, it's a little bit understeering, not as bad as the Mercedes that went out last time. However, yeah, it's much nicer. Th it's nicer through there than the Mercedes. A tad, a tad understeering, but we're not leaning. Whoa! <laughs> we are bouncing funky on the landing there. That's uh, <laughs> haven't seen a car do that for a little while. Oh dear, we're bouncing across there. Okay, maybe we won't have a problem with leading. We might just have a problem with bouncing. How do we do through the second to last turn? Can we carry good speed? Oh, we can, actually. Uh, it actually doesn't handle too badly. No, we're near as badly as I thought. Decent enough traction out of the final turn as well. Okay, how do we do straight line speed-wise? We perhaps won't be the fast... I don't know, pretty quick up to the, uh, the jump. While we don't have the same power as some of the cars, we are very, very light. So power-to-weight ratio, not bad in here. We should rock it along. That's 130, yeah, 137 ish. I got on the brakes. Uh, yeah, I got the brakes maybe a slight tad early, but 137, not too bad, certainly, for uh, for straight line speed. Yeah, it's down here. It's that sort of turn two, turn three section. I feel a little bit of understeer, but it's nowhere near as bad as we got from the Mercedes. We can carry more speed, take a much neater line through there than we could with the big Black Series Merc. Uh, can we? We got better, better landing that time around there, although it doesn't really like that corner. It doesn't like that, that turn five on the landing of the jump. We just have some some issues through there. I've turned in too soon, I think, for second to last corner. We ran the banking, still got 110 through there, which is pretty good going from the Cobra. Yeah, I, I realised I turned in too soon. I had no chance. I, I couldn't do anything. We were committed to making the corner, but it got through it okay, which is not too shabby at all from uh, from this vehicle. We're actually going a relatively decent first lap. From uh, from this car, it's going to be a 58.8 on the first flying lap. That's 
that's very respectable from the uh, from the King Cobra. Yeah, my fears of wallowing through the corners with the suspension is just not there. There is that. There you go. Yeah, that understeer through turn two. It doesn't. It doesn't really like turn two. But everywhere else, this car is pretty good. Oh, we got up onto two wheels through that. <laughs> that time, I've not had a car do that before. That's a first. Mustang has the first car to go up onto two wheels through that corner. Which I think might actually be better working in this car in fourth through that turn five. It, it doesn't like that landing of the jump. I think that's perhaps this car's, with its understeer through turn two and the landing of that jump, I think of this car's weakness. Much better through the second to last turn this time around. Much neater. Uh, get on the brakes. It does stop pretty well. And again, we've got decent enough traction. It's not quite as impressive as the Mercedes and the Ferrari, um, but it's still pretty good. We've, we have had uh, quite a few cars have issues on that final turn, but recently the vehicles have been doing better. The cars that, uh, that I've been using have actually been getting good grip out of there, and uh, yeah, this this Cobra is uh, is no exception. All right, slow it down for turn one. I'm actually breaking too soon for turn one. I've missed the checkpoint, I think, there. Yep. <laughs> you can break quite late with this car. I keep thinking that we're... I keep thinking this is a heavier car than it is, so I keep braking a bit early. You can get away with braking quite late uh, with this vehicle. Now I've probably gone and done it too late. Yeah. The, the rewind let me mess that one up. Um, yeah. Uh, you can you can brake pretty late on it. Brakes are decent. And that's another thing that you don't always see on some of the older cars. You can have some... Even with it being light, sometimes the brakes aren't, still aren't fantastic when you upgrade them to, uh, to race ones. Can we go quicker than that 58.8? It was a pretty good lap. I think this is where we have uh, some slight issues. Yeah, I just can't seem to carry the speed with the uh, car through there. We do okay on these bumps down here. We don't have we don't have some of the issues we've seen through that section, but it's a landing. A landing of the jump where we have problems. Second to last turn, not the quickest car we've ever seen through there, but still pretty damn impressive. Okay, one more lap for the Cobra. Let's not miss turn one, but we do have to break before the bump. I think we were carrying a cone with us as well uh, for a little bit down there, but never mind. Uh, fly lovely across the main jump. No problems there for the uh, for the Mustang. It is bouncing a little bit along the straight. We get big airtime off that one there, but that's okay. Right, we think we broke... Uh, I, may have, I may have thought I broke the slight early. There. Uh, <laughs> So I had two stabs at the breakthrough there um, on, on this time around, but we did get it stopped and I bumped the wall as well, pushing the car as hard as I dare through this section. Find some grip, find some grip. Come on, Mustang. We can do this. We're lined up quite nicely now for the jump. We can get the landing. Ugh. <laughs> We land up. We're lined up for where we want to be taking the corner. The problem is, is where like the optimum racing line, if you like, you often end up landing on a bump, and that's through the car uh, around second to last turn. Uh, again, I could have probably taken a tiny little bit more speed. I'm not sure we're really going quicker on this uh, final lap. Yeah, it's not too bad through that final turn either. Uh, again, it's not quite as impressive as the Mercedes or the Ferrari, but pretty damn good after all the struggles we've had with getting cars out of there. Oh, we twist big time on the main jump, which is not going to have helped. Oh, we got some oversteer at the wrong moment. Ah, <laughs> we lost it on the final one. We weren't going quicker uh, anyway, I don't think, with the uh, King Cobra. Ah. I've never had a big moment like that before on <laughs> start finish straight. That was a little bit scary. Very nearly ended up in the trees. However, the 58.8 is a pretty damn respectable time. It goes a tenth of a second behind the Metro. I had pretty good call on the uh, on the time wise at the start. It's a couple of tenths of a second faster than the Charger Daytona, a tenth faster than the Galant, but a little bit behind the Metro and the uh, the Nissan 300 ZX. Uh, it does then therefore go into ninth place. Well, we do still have a muscle car in the top ten. It's not massively high in the top ten, but uh, yeah, it's not a not a bad car actually. I. When I put all the suspension on, I, th I thought we may have had handling issues. We don't really. We do not like the bump, uh, <laughs> or the landing of the jump, I should more say, um, at, uh, at sort of turn five. It doesn't really like that. Uh, however, everywhere else, pretty solid car, really. There's no nothing particularly particularly wrong with it. Good under brakes, uh, nice and consistent, nice and easy to drive, really. Uh, we don't really have oversteer issues. Tiny, tiny little bit of understeer, but that's how I tend to like my cars to drive anyway. So I, c I can work with that. Yeah, not a bad time at all from the the Mustang King Cobra. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.